So now let us talk about column mapping. If you look at uh, the syntax and description for column mapping, uh, it says columns to export to table. So uh, um, if you recollect what we have done so far, so this is our uh, hive table, which is nothing but daily revenue, um, and it has order date and a derived column called daily revenue. Uh, so our uh, data which we exported from HDFS into MySQL have two fields, order date and daily revenue. And also our target table, which we have created before the export, have two fields, order date and revenue. Even though the column names are different here, they both mean same and data types are same, so it works without any issues. And internally, when the export is done, it runs the query like this, insert into daily revenue values, question mark, comma, question mark. So rather than this, let's say the table structure is a bit different. Okay, uh, so let's name it as demo. And let's say the first field is revenue, which is of type float. And the second field is order date. And the third field is uh, uh, description. Where cal of 200, just a, a hypothetical column. Uh, so now let us try to create this table in MySQL. Okay, here I'm connecting to MySQL. Use retail underscore export and paste this create table command, which have three fields. Now, if I try to export uh, the same data into this new table, okay, underscore demo. So if it generated query like this, insert into daily revenue demo, um, with values question mark, comma, question mark, where it expects, uh, where it will replace with uh, uh, order date and revenue, it will fail because order date is of type string and uh, the target field in uh, the target first field in daily revenue demo is, the, is revenue, which is of type float. There is a type mismatch. Also, there are three fields in our target table. And if I say values of question mark, comma, question mark, uh, most of the databases will not work. Uh, when you uh, specify values without columns name, column names, uh, you will uh, uh, end up uh, uh, getting uh, errors uh, saying that columns are missing uh, while inserting the data into. So as we are trying to uh, insert data into daily revenue demo, uh, with, uh, uh, with the values we get uh, from, uh, 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 let me see, uh, this has to be daily revenue itself and the table has to be daily revenue demo. So daily revenue directory have order uh, uh, date and revenue. And here, when you try to insert order date and revenue into daily revenue demo, where it has revenue and order date, it will fail. So as we cannot change the uh, structure in the data that easily, um, but we can, um, uh, customize the insert into command by specifying a additional clause, which is called as columns clause. So instead of just saying insert into daily revenue demo values, if we can get uh, the column names, which match the data which we are trying to load, most of the database will work without any issue. So let's say instead of uh, uh, just uh, generating a simple insert into command where there are no columns specified, if we have columns specified, it will work without any issue as long as the other fields which we are not trying to load are nullable. If they are not nullable, then it will fail uh, with a uh, different uh, error. But in this case, description is nullable. So even if we don't lo load into that uh, column, that is fine. So we have to generate structure like this, okay, to insert data into daily revenue demo with a simple insert command. So that can be achieved with scoop export, okay. Uh, by say, uh, by saying this additional clause called columns. So that's where the columns comes into picture. Using the columns, we can specify uh, the fields that should be defined 
here. So instead of just saying table uh, daily revenue demo, if we add additional clause columns and give the column names here, you, you have to specify the target table column names, not the source data column names. So it has to match the MySQL table columns in this case. Revenue comma order uh, order date. One minute. You should not specify like this. Order date comma revenue. Okay. So which will generate the columns uh, class. by saying this so when the insert comments are generated the first bind variable will be replaced with order date from our input data uh, and load into order date in the daily revenue demo and the second uh, bind variable will be re replaced by daily revenue from input data and uh, insert into revenue field of daily revenue demo so even though our table structure uh, is a bit different compared to uh, the data that is being loaded we can achieve that uh, by specifying columns like this here the column should match the source data structure so in the source data structure as we have order date at the first field and uh, daily revenue at the second field uh, we mentioned order date and revenue here and the column name should match the target table structure should match the source table uh, source data which we are trying to load and target uh, column names should match the uh, column names in the target table. Okay. Um, first, let us run this without columns clause, and then we will add columns clause to the data, and we will see the difference. Okay. Here we are trying to load data from same high table, uh, same HDFS directory pointing to high table daily revenue. But the table is daily revenue demo, which have three fields. The first field is revenue, second field is order date, and the third field is description. And let's see what will happen. So you see, it failed. And if you want to get the errors, you can go to this tracking URL. Even though it doesn't uh, throw, uh, show the error here, you can go to this tracking URL and paste the URL here. You can see it is failed. You can go to the map task. Typically, uh, our uh, scoop import and export only have map tasks. You can see here. So you can actually go to our view and you can see the task type is map. And you can see one, uh, there's only one task and it failed. And you can click on logs here to get the complete details. And here you can see why it is failing. Uh, so let me see. You can see here for input string date, it is trying to convert to float because revenue is of type float and hence it is failing. Okay, also, even if you have uh, the fields, uh, the first two fields matching your source data, still for some databases, as our target table have three fields, it might fail. For even in that scenario where you have those uh, extra. Uh, ex uh, Additional fields on the target table compared to the source data. Uh, there also you might have to specify these columns. Now let me add this columns class, and here I have to give the backward slash, copy this, and then run this. Now it will work without any issues. <clears throat> now data is exported. 
there are seven records and then go to mysql it was is the password use uh, uh, retail underscore export and then describe daily revenue demo and then say select star from daily revenue demo and you can see um, data without any issues so this is how you can actually customize your export a bit you cannot change the behavior of reading the data from hdfs but while uh, inserting data into the target table uh, by specifying the column names you can actually map the columns uh, up to an extent um, but you cannot uh, do for all the scenarios for example let's say there is a primary key table uh, primary key in the uh, target table and uh, unless you pass that data into the target table as part of the columns uh, if you skip it it will complain even with the description if it is a nominal field and if you don't specify some default well um, um, not default value if you don't specify if if there is no input uh, data for description and if you are trying to load it will fail let us demonstrate that also so in this case let me log in again and then retail underscore export and then alter table daily revenue demo uh, modify description not null okay syntax is not correct uh, i can drop the table daily revenue demo and then go back to the go back to this and then say not null and let me create this table table is created now let me export the data because the description is not null now it will fail as there is no matching data for our description so you can take this tracking url copy and it you can see that it is failed and go to this uh, go to the browser and paste the url and you can click on this failed uh, map task and go to logs and you can see field description doesn't have a default value okay as there is no default value and as it is defined as not null it is uh, failing uh, uh, with with the exception so you need to understand all these uh, nuances when you try to uh, perform export with uh, a custom column mapping and it is pretty useful uh, yeah, quite often